Checking one, two. Checking one, two. Don't know if this is working. Are we live? I think we're live. All right. Okay, cool. I think we're good. Hello, everybody. Uh, whoever's in the stream right now, thanks for joining. <laughs> um, let me turn this off here. Let me know if you guys can hear me or not. Uh, I think this is coming through. Okay, I'm going to turn this thing off. All right. Okay, well, assuming that this is uh, working correctly, oh, maybe I should... Uh, Bring up the comments here so I can see if anyone's chatting. Some technical technical issues this morning. Um, having a bit of a all right. Yogo's here. All right. Oh. Okay. Oops. Don't want to do that. Um, technical issues this morning. I had to move the whole setup. Hence why. You are getting a view from uh, my little office here. But uh, yeah, it's sad because I have, it's a really nice day. Sun was beaming in through the window and um, I wanted to go live um, in my proper spot, but um, having issues with the, um, with the Mac M1 holding up um, while playing guitar rig. For some reason, there are some issues with the guitar rig and the Mac M1. It's really frustrating looked into it and basically every time I bring up an instance or two instances of guitar rig, it crashes the MacBook. So that wasn't going to bode well today for, um, for writing indie rock music, unfortunately, but I moved the whole setup over to my office <clears throat> and, uh, got everything pretty much ready to rock, I think. And, um, I'm just going to go for it. Diogo's from Brazil. Welcome from Brazil, man. Awesome. Thanks for joining. Okay, well, I'm just going to go for it. And um, you know what? If you guys uh, just want to drop a hello in the comments, let me know what's going on. I uh, hope you're all doing really well, as usual. And I'm stoked. Today we are going to write uh, an indie rock track or something like that. I'm really winging it today. Um, I got a little template set up here. A few, um, a few guitar tracks. And, uh, well, what? I got my Labs drum kit. Um, I got my uh, a Sunburst Deluxe guitar VST. So we're going to do a little combination between um, real guitars and, uh, and VST guitars. And I got a synth. I'll probably, you know, I, I have um I have a few samples that I want to work with. Um, doing all the drums from scratch would take probably like an exceedingly long time. So um, I'm going to just drag and drop a few samples that I got from Splice, and we're just going to work around that. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to get to it. Here we go. Uh, I have a uh, a beat that I really liked. <laughs> Let me pull that up first. Um, I believe it is this guy. Very indie sort of feel to it. <laughs> Whatever indie means, I don't even know. Uh, but I liked it. It's kind of reminded me of, of Phoenix or something. So um, let's pull that in and uh, let's change our tempo to uh, this is 168 I think I'm just gonna bring it to an even 170 oh is that 170 great okay so let's uh, adjust this audio oh sorry guys make sure that I'm in the right view here you want the DAW view there we go that works and I'll just maximize the screen so you don't don't get that annoying bar. Hey, welcome guys. Aaron's here from New York. Awesome. Hey Matthew. 
Uh, Stevie or Steve works. Mary's here. Awesome. Welcome, Mary. And Ilko. Hello. Welcome. So glad you guys. So glad you guys can make it. Um, and yes, we are working on an indie rock track. Here we go. Um, <laughs> I'll check the comments every once in a while, but uh, hopefully this won't take too long. I think it'll be pretty quick. So what do we got? I think this is going to be too loud. Let's bring this down. Uh. Mm, too loud. Gotta make sure I'm not busting the the audio meter here. Eugene, what's going on? Welcome. Okay, that's probably a little hot. Looks like I'm pushing it a little too hard. So let me know if you guys hear like distortion or something. Okay, cool. Um, I like this beat. There's a few things I don't like about it. Uh, I don't like this back half. So I'm just going to chop this. And uh, actually, there's another thing that kind of bugs me is like there's too many, like there's this little too many kicks so I'm just gonna lower this down a little bit here and maybe that's a little too much just wanted to be just want to simplify it a little bit weird I thought that I adjusted the time but it seems like it's did I not adjust that time maybe I didn't oh maybe okay I thought I time stretch it stretched it but I guess not That sounds about right. Okay. Let's fix this little <clears throat> beat here. Bring this down. Okay, excellent. Just setting up the beat, setting up the groove. And you know what? While we're while we're, you know, messing with this beat. Why don't we just, I don't know, keep going with that. Um, maybe I'll add some claps to it. I got some nice claps and splice. I got a lot of, a lot of claps. I collect the claps. Um, I have some really dry ones that I know are going to work. I think this KRS one will work. Um, KRS clap. Yeah. Let's bring that in. And um, that mammoth one. That's TS. That sound. Uh, boots and claps. This mammoth. I know there's a clap. Actually, we'll bring both of those in because what we'll do is we'll set up some dry claps and we'll have like a reverberated one too. So bring all these in. Okay. Bring the gain down all of this stuff. Okay, and let's um, let's do this. So we'll copy these out, but one thing I always do with claps is like, if you just have the same sample uh, over and over again, it sounds a little bit robotic, obviously. So um, we want a little variation. So we'll use this KRS one to variate every second, second clap. And then we'll use this reverberated one. I think this is the, yeah, the verb, verb clap every, every, you know, whatever, the end of the bar see what that sounds like <clears throat> a 
Okay, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna bring these down a little bit though. I'm just gonna do a little mix on these claps and then I'll just bounce them down. sounds about right you know it doesn't have to be perfect let's um yeah uh you know what i'll just bounce the dry claps and leave the reverberated one as it is okay i just want to simplify the view so sometimes i just bounce things down because i don't want like i don't need like a thousand tracks in the session Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, so we got some claps. Let's get some uh, tambourine going. I know this seems maybe a little intuitive to just, like start with a beat, but I really like to lock in like a like a really s slick groove before I start writing, just because I don't know, it gets me in the vibe. Um, tambourine. Tambo. I know I got plenty of tambo in here. Um, no. Uh, I think it's the hmm, tempo loop. Okay, that could work. Let's try that. Um, we're going to have to <clears throat> adjust the time on that. Oh, no, we're not. It's actually, it's going to lock in. Okay, that's cool, but I want those hits, like those hard hits to come sooner. So let's see what we can do here. Cool. That was easy. And, um, oof, stomach's grumbling. I don't know if you guys heard that. Probably not. Uh, tambo loops. Uh, I feel like there's other ones. Sometimes I do a secondary one. Just for fun. I like that one, actually. That could work. That sound has great, great stuff. Great sample packs they got. Um, I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit. Bring that down. Okay, same problem. Let's just adjust this. Bring these tempos down. That works. Okay, and um, I'm going to use the Labs drum kit to just add a little bit of um, a hi-hat, open hi-hat. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, that's it. So that's nice to have it in the middle there because it kind of is offset by the um, the verb clap. Let's quantize that. And uh, yeah, sounded pretty good. Okay, so there's another little, vi well, you know what? Actually, before I go any further, we'll just make sure to uh, copy this out. How are you guys doing out there? Let me see what's going on here. Oh, lots of people here, right on. Welcome for joining or welcome. <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> Indie apparently means pop, but not associated with a major record label. That's that's good definition. High classmates. <laughs> Love their 1993 drums library. 
yeah, that sound, it makes amazing stuff. I've been using their, um, their sample packs for a long time. Yeah, they have like some great 80s stuff too. Awesome, 14 people here, right on. I think that's a record. I'm still new to, to streaming, you know, this is, a, this is really new to me, so appreciate you guys, uh, you know, watching me learn how to figure this all out. <laughs> I'm not very good at chatting and stuff. I can, I can write music, but I don't know. I don't really know what to say sometimes, but uh, I really appreciate you guys are, are here. It really makes, makes it fun for me. So um, anyway, where were we? So we got this sweet drum beat, and um, I think what we need is uh, some inspo chords. <laughs> so um, this is another one of those things where I may have, I, I may, like, in, in a typical situation, I might, like, try to figure out the chords, you know, using my MIDI keyboard or a guitar. Um, but sometimes I'll just go to Splice for, like, some inspiration and work around a sample. And I think that's what we're going to do today for the sake of uh, the stream not being, like, three hours long. So, um, chords. Uh, these, uh, what's it called? SFP or something. Yeah, I found these, like, pop chords. And um, I'm not sure they really said, like, indie to me, but, you know, I don't know what... Again, whatever indie means, um, I like these chords. They kind of had that like inspirational vibe to them. And uh, we're gonna have to make sure that these, I think it's too slow. So i um, gonna have to time stretch this a little bit. And let's turn this down. Okay, so it kind of opens up um, the filter like in the sample and what I'm going to do is just grab um, the first four bars of it. That's all we need. And sometimes, you know what, yeah, I'll just label this. And if, I, if I'm bringing in like a, like a synth sample like that, then I'll usually like flesh it out with my own synths. Um, and that's what we're gonna try to do right now. So um, I think like some pluck, some pluck sounds that are sort of similar to that vibe might work. Um, and we'll give it a little bit more movement because it's a little dry as it is. So let me bring up um, Omnisphere here. I'll start with Omnisphere and um, Let me just check out what's going on with plucks. And this is probably gonna be really loud. Let's turn that down. Um, bouncy pluck. Mm, no. It's a little too pointy. Yeah, see some of these, um, these Omni patches are just like, this is like a little bit outdated, but some of them are just great. No. That could work. And let's solo these chords. Yeah, I'll just keep it simple. We'll do something like like that, and I'll just, because I'm not a piano player, right, I'm just going to adjust the bass note um, so that it makes sense here. Let's just do this. So super simple. Let's quantize that and copy. Uh, sorry, get rid of this. And we'll just change this to uh, down. Da, da, da. And then maybe the last one, we're going to bring it up. Okay. 
Okay, so how does that sound? Okay, that could work. Just roll with it. I'm not going to stress about this too much because I just got to keep the train running. So um, that on its own sounds like a little weak. Uh, I think I could probably find something cool with the um, one of the Arturia synths. I'll, uh, I'll bring up the uh, CSV. It's usually my go-to for like plucky sounds. Um, let's figure that out. Let's go to the keys. Um. Something like that could work. I'll label this before I forget. And let's we'll copy paste this and see if we can kind of like find a nice little balance. <laughs> Higher? No. Let's tweak this atmosphere just a little bit. perfect we'll leave it at that for now and um yeah let's let's bring out the guitars so all right let's see what's going on here you guys still with me hopefully i'm still alive here <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Hopefully this is not going to be too loud. Really don't want to blast you guys right now. So make sure that this level is okay. distortion. Really nice tone. This jazz master is usually what I use for like this kind of music because the, um, the pickups are just so bitey. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. See what happens. Here we go. White. I think, um, yeah, we'll do a whole eight bars here. Yeah, 
And we'll do some like mutes. Of course, you know, we don't have time to um, edit this, so uh, we'll just quantize it using good old flex time. See if that sounds cool. Sometimes it's a little glitchy using flex time, as you Logic uh, users probably know if you're a guitar player. So you got to be careful with it. But if you're doing layers of, uh, of guitars, it's generally not that noticeable. pretty good i mean yeah sometimes it produces a lot of artifacts so you got to be careful with that um let's move over to our second part so when it comes to rhythm i always like to uh to double it um you know classic move um, i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this before you're just gonna i'm gonna do two rhythm parts um similar in style and and delivery um but uh i'll pan them probably end up panning them left and right a little bit We'll see how we'll see what sounds good. Okay, so here goes nothing. Let's give this a shot. And actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I'm just going to uh, do the panning work right now because I want to monitor that and make sure it sounds cool. Maybe 20 a piece. See if that sounds good. Sorry, I keep on forgetting to maximize this screen. Um. I'm a little bit wary of doing those. In between, they're a bit loud, but hopefully uh, flex time can take care of that. Okay, let's try quantizing that. So I can hear a little in there. I don't like that. Um, let's see if we can fix that. Maybe. Uh, how come I can't see the little? There we go. Um, okay, let me zoom in there and see if we can get to the audio. Fix that. Maybe we'll just get rid of it. Tiny little things, they just drive me crazy. Maybe it's coming from the other. There we go. Problem solved. I just like it, you know, when it comes to the licensing music, I just want it really tight, really clean. A good start. Let's bring these down a little bit. Okay, cool. <clears throat> um, let me 
do a little baseline here. Pulling up my trusty Squire base. That's probably way too loud. Pick or no pick? What do you guys think? Pick is like kind of more rock and roll. Maybe I'll do a little. And, you know, okay, when it comes to recording this bass, um, I really, really, you know, want to lock into this drum beat. Uh, so let's solo this and um, maybe the, maybe we'll solo the chords. <clears throat> and you guys have an opinion on the pick or the no pick? Pick. Pick definitely. I like the pick. Okay. We have consensus. Thanks, guys. I have to agree. Pick sounds more rock and roll. Okay, so let me lock this in first. simple um here we go I think I have to turn the, maybe the input down a little bit. It's coming in a little hot. it up guys sorry I don't know about that last lick does that sound cool kind of sounds cool and you know what we'll quantize this too might not need it but see if it sounds a little bit more locked in it probably doesn't really need it but whatever we'll just leave it okay that's bass Let's put this away for a sec. Make sure do that first. Okay. What now? Um, Got to keep the ideas rolling here. Um, show. Uh, got some guitar. Got some bass. Um, Let's uh, let's start thinking about um, hmm. 
start thinking about coming up with like an alternate, uh, some alternate parts here. So I'm just going to improvise here and um, I'm double up this loop. And I'm going to, I'm going to assume that like, I don't want these uh, electric guitars, like that rhythm playing the whole time. So actually I'm going to go back to my electric guitar. I should have done this. Um, oops, what happened there? I should have done this when I was recording the electric guitars initially, um, but whatever. So let's grab my guitar. I'm thinking like a plucky sort of part. Um. Let's find out. Um, we'll do uh, Let's just give it a shot. First part of that sounded good. It's a lot quieter, which is fine. Let's get in here and quantize that. For sure. This isn't going to be loud in the mix, but it will be present when we do the same thing with our other guitar here. Oops, a little weird thing at the end. My bad. I just do that twice in a row. Where's that coming from? Weird. Oh, it's from that one. Oops. Let's just get rid of it. We don't have time to record it or uh, re-record it. It's fine. Actually, we'll just quantize this first. Sixteenths. Okay, how's these? How do these sound together? to be perfect because it's going to be pretty going to be low in the mix Um, 
DX7, I have this little thing already brought up here. I don't know if it's the right patch. Um, hmm. Reverb's probably not necessary. This should be... Um, too loud. So I want like a little intro melody, just something to kind of get the, get the tune started. Maybe we'll start it at this point. Something like that. So I guess I kind of sort of start thinking about like the length of these uh, indi individual sections. So like what I'm hearing is like given the speed, um, something like this would come in here. And actually what we're going to do is I'm going to bring these, um, these rhythm parts, the original guitar rhythm parts over here. And... Um, I'm going to copy these plucks. Okay, and um, CZV and Omnisphere aren't going to come in until that point too. So we have ourselves like a little bit of, a, of, a, of an intro here. I'm going to take, take those tambourines out. Um, and let's just hear how this sounds. Okay, so you guys feel that? I mean, like, I think that that sounds about right. So we got like an intro that's building up here a little bit. And now we um, have this little, uh, this little loop that we got to flesh out here. So I'm going to bring all the elements from here over, um, first of all. But let's change the melody. So the DX7, let's get rid of this. And um, let's do something like I don't know. Maybe let's take the uh, open cinematic guitar patch that we have here and record a part just to kind of like give it a little bit more ambience. This is where we're opening things up. Um, you know what I might do uh, is actually just take away some of these tambourines as well, so that we're getting into full tambourine mode uh, when we reach our chorus here. Of course, we need our bass part. Okay, let's try something with our guitar here.
that could work. Let's just go for it. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. So we're trying to open things up a little bit. Um, let's get into our uh, our deluxe. Bring this up an octave. Maybe we'll just do um, a, like a simplified version of what our DX7 is doing in the intro for the melody, uh, but we're just gonna kind of bring it up an octave and make it more cinematic. There I go again with my descending melodies. I always start a melody, That's this is my habit of, I always wanna go down. <laughs> this is what I was saying last in last week's uh, stream. I have a habit of doing this. And it works though. So we'll go like dun, dun. I'm just gonna go for it. why they these uh, MIDI regions are muting auto muting that's really strange <laughs> so. so what we'll do is just copy this in, into our DX7 and see if that sounds cool might be too abrasive at that um, in that octave Actually, that kind of sounds cool. I think that sounds all right. Um, anyway, I know that I'm going to take uh, this section and uh, we're going to, our course is going to be this times two. Um, so there you go. That, that's pretty much the, the, like what we need to kind of start fleshing this tune out a little bit more. I have a few more ideas, uh, but what I'm going to do right now is uh, just, I don't know copy paste this all and say that that's our like basic structure for now I have a feeling that I'll probably draw out this um, this second chorus um, a little bit more we'll just do that for fun okay cool so we have an arrangement let me put this guitar away And uh, as usual for a track like this, um, I'm going to want some, uh, some embellishments, uh, some samples to kind of like, I don't know, breathe some life into it, put some ear candy. For those of you who are still with me, thanks for staying. Thanks for watching. I haven't looked at the comments in a bit. James is here, right on. Welcome, man. Aaron, I hate having to go back and add more parts with the same sounds because I'm afraid even with the detailed notes, I won't get the same sound again. Yep. I hear you. Um, glad you guys are here. This is fun. Feeling good about this track. 
so far. So far, it's all right. So um, let's check out. Uh, I have, I mean, I collect samples, little one shots and stuff in, uh, you know, little stabs or whatever in certain keys. The song is in E minor, I believe. And I'm sure we got some stuff we could throw in here. That for sure can work. Cool. Let's use it. I don't know how I'm going to chop it up, but we'll figure it out. Ooh. Oh, that's our. Why not? Yeah, we'll use we'll use these. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> so let's just work them one at a time. Um, let's just mute these. So, uh, what is this one again? Oh, sorry, guys. That was really loud. My bad. That feels to me like something that we can, um, that we could like maybe use to like almost in, in tandem with like a swell or something like that. So maybe what I'll do is try to use that for, um, our chorus and I'll time that right here to make sure that sounds cool might not sound really cool right now but it will later so I think we got to give it a little bit more of a ramp third in Um, does that sound good? Sorry. Yeah, that could work. Okay, so uh, E minor stab, maybe guitar stab. Okay, I'm happy with that. What do we, what else we got? We have um, some vocal stuff here. Uh, let me turn this down so I don't blast you guys again. Ooh. Right, so we have this little ooh thing. Um, uh, yeah, let me hear this whole sample. I think we'll just use the front and the back of that somehow. Um, let's start that here. That's what my intuition is telling me. And um, let's bring in a couple things here. So we'll bring in the chords, bring in the beat. And let's chop this. So that'll work. And... Actually, that lines up really nicely. Just go like that, get rid of all that other stuff. That sounds kind of cool. Um, just want to make sure the timing is really tight. Um, maybe a little bit quicker on this. I'm going to time stretch this first part. It sounds weird, too many artifacts, maybe a little less. Okay, cool, let's get rid of this. Fade it. And add some reverb. first part that works really well awesome vocal uh, vocal whatever we'll just call it vocal um, 
Yeah, so uh, I don't know if that's the kind of thing I'd want to happen every four bars. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling it every um, every eight bars right now. So we'll copy it into our chorus and into our second half of the course. So leave it at that. And um, I like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it over here too. Let's make sure I do this in the right place. Okay. Um, what else we got? We have this little guy. Unmute you. Turn you way down. Oh, that's kind of neat. Um, could that work like right at the front of the bar? Yeah, why not? Let's do this. Sounds nice. Throw a little verb on that as well. roll with it for now might be a little annoying after a certain point in time um, so I don't know we'll just copy and paste it right and then my sort of philosophy is you know just like throw stuff at the wall and uh, see what sticks worry about um, you know you can take stuff away but initially I like to just throw a lot of stuff at the wall um, and then we have this little, I think, what is it, a little guitar pluck? Something like that. Can't remember exactly what this one sounded like. I feel like I used that in a hip-hop song or something before. I don't know where we could use that in here. Maybe right there. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm hearing something kind of cool. Like we could do... Um, uh, okay, we'll put this on start of bar four and we should offset it with something. I'm thinking maybe like I have these little... Um, like a collection of vocal um, one shots somewhere vocal shots it's probably gonna be loud Some of these don't really work. I kind of like the first one the best. What do you think? That sounds like the most vibey to me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. I don't want to take all day here.
Hey, thanks for being here, Mary. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Um, just ca catching up with the comments there. Oleg, thanks for joining, man. Appreciate you being here. Where are you from? From the Ukraine. Nice. What time is it there? That is most definitely on the other side of the world from where I'm at. Uh, here we go. I feel like we can make use of this uh, deluxe guitar in the intro too, just like um no nah, no nah. maybe double this um, deluxe up and um, maybe shave off a little bit of uh, the highs. Something a little bit more muted I think would work. Um, and super simple and then um let's take a look at what our dx7 is doing here and Very nice. Copy that over. How are we doing here? I think we're doing all right. It is 2100. That's in Ukraine. All right. That's not too. That's not too late. Oh wait, is that late? No, that's not. That's uh. Nine. Nine p.m. <laughs> it's like my 24-hour clock is not calibrated clearly. Um. Uh, Alan, thanks so much for joining. Uh, thanks. And thanks for uh, the support on Patreon. I should uh, give a shout out to uh, my Patreon uh, peeps in the house. Um, love you guys and appreciate your support a lot. And uh, if you are watching this and you want to dive a little deeper into the old production process, and uh, I hope I try to upload, you know, three, three, sometimes four videos a month. Um, and uh, maybe I'll do a little deep dive on this one when I'm finished. But uh, anyway. I think we're kind of like getting to the finish line here, but I feel like there's some um, some transition effects and stuff like that that need uh, 
to be thrown in. So, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, Let's throw this stuff into the intro or into the second breakdown. Okay, so let's grab some transition effects here. Let's go to um, our basics. Well, just grab a few that I know that I like. And um, I think maybe a couple on splice that are cool too. Um, so we got dark, uh, dark symbol swell might work. Or we'll do the light symbol swell. I use these transitions a lot, uh, most of my tracks. So um, I think what we got under wind chimes. It was a really nice one that I downloaded the other day. Yeah, just really minimal. Okay, so let's bring this forward here a little bit and I'll start with my light symbol swell. Make sure that we're locked in. Bring that way down. And I know this is all, this is too long. I know that already. So I'm just gonna make it a shorter sweep up. Something like that should work. these for a sec. Too loud. Okay, cool. And what I'll do is um, unmute this, uh, these chimes. I like to combine the chimes with that sweep. I've been doing that a bit lately. Not sure if we really need to fade it or anything like that. Let's see how that sounds. Nice. Probably a little too loud. You gotta be really careful with the volume on these chimes. Just a little texture in the in the cymbal swell. Really nice. And I feel like I'm the Bob Ross of music production right now. Um, if you're under the age of 35, you might not know who Bob Ross was. Well, no, he's, everyone knows who Bob Ross is, right? I just did a documentary on him on Netflix that I watched. He just has that really nice, calm voice. That's what I like about Bob. Okay. Um... And we have a different set of chimes here, which I'm going to use for our chorus. Make sure we take that way down. It's going to be way too loud. like that um, and I want my uh, a different symbol swell actually what I'll do is um, bring this over here instead that's a chorus swell 
for sure. Nice long one. And we'll just double this light symbol as well. It doesn't have to be like, I usually, I try to variate them, right? Because I just avoid repetition or, you know, re repeating samples wherever I can, but, you know, um, I'm trying to get this done. So, uh, copy these out to our outro. And um, doing this hyperspeed here. And that should do it. A little bit more, you know repetitive than I would like, but um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let's throw a little, uh, yeah, there's some compression on here. See how it sounds. pretty good with all the cymbal swells and stuff might come up with some kind of like um, secondary guitar part here when it drops down quiet and then we're gonna have to double these up maybe like I don't think it goes any higher actually I think that probably does it for for this session. I mean, there's other little things that I'd want to throw in there, but I think you guys get the idea. It came together pretty quick.
All right. I feel like, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of um, stuff I would add to this second part of this chorus. Maybe some like some strings, some like high flotando strings or something like that, just to kind of carry it and lift lift it up a little bit more because it's it sounds a bit like the first half. Little things like that, you know. But um, that was a fun little writing session. I feel like I could use this, and uh, I think what I'm going to do is just work on it a little bit more, add a little finishing touches, and I will save that for uh, my patrons. I'll upload that to uh, Patreon, and uh, you guys can check it out there. And uh, maybe I'll dive into a little bit more, like in terms of like what I what I'll do to mix it and stuff, because uh, it's not really mixed. I mean, I got a little bit of glue on the stereo out channel, but um, doesn't really have a whole lot of a whole lot of punch to it. Well, it's you know, it's close, it's close enough. Uh, let's paint some happy, <laughs> yeah, some happy accidents. That's what they call it. Right? That's what he that's what he said, right? That was his line. Um, Oleg. Audio Quantize is a cool feature. Yeah, yeah, it is absent in my DAW. Bitwig, I've even never even heard of Bitwig. Crazy. There's so many DAWs now. Um, yeah, you know, man, I was always uh, very, I was always very uh, hesitant about using, um, let me change views here. I was always very hesitant about using uh, the Audio Quantize. And I found that, like I said earlier, it, like, adds all of these annoying little artifacts um, constantly. But um, if you play like the part pretty tight, if like if you're doing electric guitar, especially if you just play the part pretty tight, then it's generally, um, it's not so bad. And it's a hell of a lot easier than um, editing uh, audio manually. Um, if I was working on a pro like a project that was like really important, I would probably uh, do like manual edits. You obviously get a little, a lot more, um, you can get a lot more specific, but, uh, yeah, I mean, in a, in a pinch, uh, the audio quantize is a really, really handy little tool for sure. Ken James is a great track. Thanks. For, oh man, my pleasure. Thanks so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, thanks for joining the, the stream Kenja music. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's been fun. This is really fun for me. I, I really enjoyed uh, doing this and it kind of like, you know, sets me up for a good day. It feels, it feels fun. I, I got to, you know, finish a track. So now I'm, you know, I'm being productive and I'm, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Appreciate you guys joining uh, as always. And uh, yeah, throw, throw your thoughts in the comments, especially if you got any questions or anything like that. I'm happy to answer them. And um, yeah, I'm, I got to go eat something. My stomach was grumbling like crazy throughout that entire stream. Um, I'm one of these people that can't like eat anything first thing in the morning. I usually wait till like early afternoon before I eat, uh, before I eat breakfast. You guys don't need to know that. You guys don't need to know anything about my eating habits. <laughs> I'm just babbling for fun. Um, because I got nothing else to say. I'm gonna take a little sip of water here. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, appreciate you guys. And, uh, take it easy. Hopefully next stream will be in the, uh, the living room spot. I was kind of bummed that I couldn't do it there today. Uh, but you know, I'm, yeah, I'm a little disappointed in my Mac M1. It's fast, but you know, a lot of, a lot of little bumps on the way towards, uh, towards it being fully functional. It seems anyway. Uh, okay. I'm going to press end stream here and, uh, that'll do it. I will see you guys next week. And if you guys, oh yeah, by the way, if you have suggestions on um, uh, like genres or like styles or like like next week we could do an orchestral track or something like something like that. I don't know, uh, hip hop. Um, yeah, thank you, Oleg. Appreciate you, man. We'll uh, we'll see you next week. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to hear. I, I'm down to do anything uh, within reason. I don't want to. I don't want to do like a polka track or anything like that, because um, I don't know how to write polka. But uh, <laughs> thanks, James. Thanks for joining. Okay, stream is ending. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Bye now.